I didn't really know there was such a thing as colorblindness at the time. I think I was six or seven. I thought maybe I wasn't intelligent enough <laughs> to tell, because I didn't know, and I didn't tell my parents, so I just, I stopped painting and drawing. There's some drawings where I wish I could see how my kids put the colors together and what they were visualizing. It's not that I can't name them, there's, there's nothing there. That's gray, and that's gray, and that's gray. I had moments where girls would make fun of me for not knowing girly shades, and I felt self-conscious about it. Sometimes I feel like there is a world of color that I'm just sort of missing out on. Color blindness is a situation where, because your eyes are different than someone else's eyes, you don't see the world the same way. Commonly, red and green don't look different, but look the same. So if there is a kind of a color filter, kind of glasses that would separate colors, they suddenly can see red and green. There's nothing wrong with the wiring. The problem exists in the eye with the photopigments. So Valspar is working with us at Enchroma to bring color to everyone. We developed these glasses to enable colorblind people to see color for the first time in their lives. Wow. Oh, look at that. It was like this whole end of the, of the spectrum that I just was completely not aware of. I'm like getting misty. This is, this is amazing. I've never been able to see this one. And I just want to cry a little bit. <laughs> um, I never realized like how much I was affected by the fact that I can't see the world like the way that other people see the world. When he's drawing, I see him going in and out of his crayon box like 150 times sometimes. Oh wow, that's cool. And now I kind of know why. There's a lot more colors here. All these things that are intentional in life, I never caught on to it. In the end, the experience of color is so private that you don't really know how to explain that. So is that what you guys see every day? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, just everything's flatter. Everything's, yeah, it kind of, yeah. I don't want to take them off. Um, it's just dull. It's a little dull, to be honest. I never really thought about my color blindness that much. It was just something that I had that I dealt with and that wasn't really a big deal to me. But color is an amazing experience that I think people probably take for granted. <laughs>